Good morning, mountain bikers. Today's going to be a little bit different than our normal videos, because Dan and I are in Moab. And we've never ridden here. This is going to be very exciting. First impressions is it's gorgeous. It's kind of overwhelming. Um, looking at these cliff faces is a little terrifying, but I'm excited. I'm really excited to get going. So today we're starting with Captain Ahab. We're going to be climbing in a few minutes. This is supposed to be one of the best single tracks around, so we're really excited about it. And <laughs> we'll get you going soon. We are on Captain Ahab. Should we just let this truck go first? Well, not on Captain Ahab. Yeah, we're about to climb. And uh, feeling pretty excited about it. We're gonna let this truck pass. We got a little fire road climb. And then after we climb some fire road, we're gonna get into some single track. That's where the fun begins. We'll bring it back then. So we just turned off the road. We found the High Masa Trail. We're gonna get into some of this famous Moab Slick Rock. This is a pretty cool, cool little start to it. And we're super excited to be riding this. We have no idea what to expect. We're going in with an open mind. Oop, rock. Before we descend all this, should we make sure we're going the right way? Yep. So before we descend all this, should we make sure we're going the right way? Yeah, okay. Let's do it. We stopped to make sure we're going the right way. We are. So you get to start the trail with a little descent. Down some fun little single track. Whoop. Always fun riding a trail you've never done for the first time, especially when it's a trail like Captain Ahab. So if I remember correctly from the other videos I've watched, we have a quick little G out into a freaking impossible climb. Creek crossing. We are officially on the high masa climb. One thing to note, there's two ways you can ascend. You can go up the Amasa Jeep Trail, or once you're on the Jeep Trail, there's a sharp right at a big boulder, and it is marked very well, but I can see how you could pass it pretty easily. Take that right, and that will take you on the high masa climb, which is single track, as opposed to the Jeep Trail. So if you want to change up your ride a little bit, get more single track in, 
you know, avoid the motorized vehicles, you want to make sure you take that right. We'll bring you back in a little bit. Kind of like me. I've already hit the chain anyway. I don't think it's that low. A lot of going to be We are still climbing the High Massa Trail. And we've been talking a little bit. And it feels like, you know, we're climbing a lot. Obviously, but this climb is it's kind of fun. As fun as a climb can be. Not only do we have this incredible scenery, it's a very technical climb. And it, is, it requires you to be present on the bike instead of spacing out, like we will a lot of times when climbing. So, yes, it's a climb, but it's an enjoyable climb. And as you can see, with some pretty cool sections. Yeah! Nice. Woo! That section was tough. We'll bring you back shortly. So we're still climbing, but look at this view. Oh my God, this is unreal. This is why you come to Moab. The trails are amazing, but this is what sets it apart. Let's ride. <laughs> that was cool. Oh, it was so much fun. Oh, man. A little fun before we started climbing again. <clears throat> We've been traversing the Slick Rock for a while. Huh? I'm not sure how far up we are, but we just keep commenting on this is the most fun we've ever had climbing. And don't let this climb scare you, it's very doable. It's really cool. And, uh, yeah, we're, we haven't even gotten to the fun part yet, and we're having a blast. This is awesome. Bring it back in a little while. We're getting close to the top, and we just stopped to enjoy this view, take it in. It's kind of unreal. And just, wow. And supposedly we haven't even gotten to the cool part yet. So, we're just enjoying ourselves. This is an incredible ride. If it's something you're thinking about doing, do it. If you're coming to Moab, I don't know why you wouldn't do this. And we haven't even started the fun part yet. We'll get riding again in a few. What happened, Dan? Uh, the bike has tubes in it. And I just don't like rocks. Everybody. Dan rented a bike instead of bringing his. And it's set up with tubes. Mind you, there's slime in the tubes. But it still didn't seal. So, if you are bringing your bike, set it up tubeless first. It's really silly to have tubes out here. And run higher pressure, too. And definitely run higher pressure. I, I pump mine up to 30. I usually ride 22, 23. Because as you can see, this is not a tube-friendly environment. So he's going to get this changed, and then we'll get rolling. We're riding again. We just got to Upper Ahab. And this is where we start to get our reward, as if we haven't already gotten it. I will say one thing about this. If you're coming out to Moag, Moag, Moab, for some slick rock, you'll get it on any trail. You don't have to do the slick rock trail. And from what I've been told, that trail kind of blows. Oh my God. Wow. What? This is unreal. Why was I just taking pictures right there? 
this section is just too cool not to get on video. So we're just about to the top. And we just had our breath taken away by the view. Just unbelievable. Kind of going along the rim here. This is so cool. Like there's exposure, but it's not scary exposure. This is all very manageable. This is just unbelievable. And the blue lines are very helpful. All right, we'll bring you back when we're going down. Go ahead if you want. Probably going down this? Yeah. Gnarly. Oh, that was cool. It's a steep. Oh man, it's cool. And we go downhill soon. Hopefully, I'm ready. All right, we are at the top of Ahab, I think. This is a pretty hefty drop. From what I've been told, that's what marks it. Doable drop, not very doable landing. I'm sure there's people that do it. I'm just not gonna be one of them. Hey, five miles in. Because you have first plane, right? Yeah, right about. All right, Captain A, have fun. You ready? Let's do it. Go ahead, man. It'll be cool to get some third-person shots. So we're at Upper Ahab right now. Oh, this is the line right here, okay. We're gonna do our best to make this trail fine. Looking back at this, that line's way better. We picked a bad line. And we'll session some things, like, that's one of those things where we know we can do it. We picked a bad line. Some of the other stuff that we, we look at, we might go back and say, yeah, I want to try that again. Pretty freaking cool so far. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, this guy thinks it's kind of weird too on the rocks. See the face? Yeah. Did you guys ride this? I did, but he did. I stopped at the drop. Yeah. I saw that green line, but it's too late. That's gnarly. Yeah. Nope. It's like a wind climb over here. This is incredible, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Might want to get out of downhill mode, man.
This is really cool, guys. So there's a lot of interesting line twists you can make, it looks like, based on what we've seen so far. Pick your lines, commit to them. What? Well, that's because I didn't hit those gaps. <laughs> wow, it just shows us how much it used to the bike. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, did you just put your bike in downhill mode? Yeah. Did you put your bike in downhill mode? Yeah. Okay. It's like a little bit of wood, well, it's just open, so I need to go open the whole side of Whoop. Oh, that's hard. Wow, that was steep. What? Oh my god, this is crazy. Oh, that was close. Ah! Dang it. Line choice. I didn't make it. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> so, on that note, something to always remember is ride within your skill level. I know my limits, Dan knows his. And yes, it's fun to push him a little bit, but we also want to ride again on this trip so we both have a no shame mentality we're out here to have fun not to impress people i don't know about that oh my god oh my god <laughs> Why did I follow you? You know what's funny about this? Is when we first started, Dan's like, no, you're a better technical rider than me, you should leave. And he's doing the dumbest things. You're in a mood today. You're in a let's do stupid things mood today. All right, let's do it. So we're still on an upper Ahab, and I read a bunch of reviews for you on this, obviously. And a lot of people said, for a downhill trail, you sure to do a lot of climbing. I would agree. But if you went to the trail with the, the mindset of this is more of an all-mountain trail with a big downhill section at the bottom, I think you'll have a lot more fun because the downhills have been amazing and really just either super fast and flowy or gnarly as could be. Now, I've been having a blast, but there's still a lot of pedaling. This is not a downhill bike trail by any means. Nope. That way. Yeah, that way.
What? I'm, rare, I'm probably gonna hit some rare plants. So, so the first thing we go first. Go ahead, man. Right. That way I can get the third person too. Oh, caught my pedal. I caught my pedal going up. Is that easy? Yeah, yeah. Do it again. I caught my pedal. There we go. That was cool. I hope I was filming that. I was. To the left, I think. Yeah. yeah. Supposed to go up. Smashing through rocks. Yep. What a cool section. Yes. So many different lines. So many lines you can take. It's crazy. All right, was that up for Ahab? I think we're entering Ahab. Festival drops, cliff exposure, average grades 11%. Wow. That's a lot. That's steep. Okay. Good luck, sir. Let's do this. No shame in walking. Right it off. So we have no idea what to expect right now. This is supposed to be the gnarlier section of Ahab, and that top section was pretty gnarly. So, here we go. I'm going to say it again. No shame in walking. I wonder what the strenuous climbs are going to look like. I bet this is one right here. Oh, that I would kill for a 46 tooth right there. That was steep.
Start to extend can go to a whole new level. What's that? What is it? Do you have to go to the Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine then. That was a fun line. I took a different line, it was cool. Man, if this is a place where you ride often and you get to know it, you could just smash through this stuff and it would be so fun. Woo! Oh, that's gnarly. I don't think I'm going to do it. I'm not doing that. Not destroying my bike. So another thing this trail is known for is breaking bikes. Something to keep in mind. Can hear the jeeps down there. Woo! Yeah, if they're little G outs like that, I'll go for them because the momentum can carry you up. I just don't want to have to torque anything, you know. Rock jump if you want it. Not today. Oh man, that was steep. I hit that a little too fast. Thank you, suspension. This is really cool. Check this out. Whoa. <laughs> That's all right. All I saw is that. All these pranks. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yep. Had to do a quick battery swap. We're back. <laughs> I would say a dropper is a must on this trail. Oh, that's sketch. That's awesome, yeah, that was cool.
Whew. I'm having so much fun right now. Yeah, that's a bar banger. Well, that got a little close. This is so gnarly. What? This is so cool. I'm taking that one. <laughs> that one just looks... It looks doable, but terrifying. Down. I think that one's fine. Oh, that was close. Yes. Oh, this is so cool. Have I said that yet? <laughs> I haven't said it enough. What? Said this is so cool. Have I said that yet? No, no, no. If I haven't, I haven't said it enough. A little exposure there. <laughs> I was not ready for that. <laughs> so speaking on exposure, oh, that wasn't good. Yeah, we had to stop for a photo op. Yeah, it's making me nervous too. I don't, I don't, I don't like to step down that way. Here's some exposure. Just a little. It's not terrible. Don't, uh, don't make sure to take a left. It's one of those things where you could definitely ride this. Dan and I don't like exposure. That's why we're refusing to do portal. But this was, it was still, that's it right there. So as you're coming down, there's a cliff before the giant cliff. And if you fall, you'd probably be fine. 
risking I'm not risking it. I love my kid. So it's not a good day. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like the step down part. I don't either. And all I can visualize in my head was probably to the right. Yep. Oh my god. That was crazy. <laughs> What's that? Whoa. That was big. We're having no speed. Yes. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> Hold on, just stop and look at what we just came down. We just rode that, dude. That's sketchy as hell. This place is designed so well. Whoever built this, you are a master. Oh yeah, that's kind of gnarly-ish. Oh. oh my gosh! That was so cool! Just want to make sure I'm recording. Oh, that was gnarly. That was going to catch my pedal for sure. You good? That's a... That's a tough section. Feel like what? I definitely see how this got its double black rating. Back on the back in just a second. Whoop. That was sketch. Wow. Can we make it? We did it. We did Captain Ahab. Dude, that was ridiculous. That was amazing. That might have been my favorite trail of all time. Like, no joke. And we still get to descend. All right, we just finished Lower Captain Ahab. 
Now we get to descend down high masa for a minute. Oh. Nice. Maybe it'll be Whoops. <laughs> uh, I think we did. Did we climb up this? No, I don't remember. I feel like we did, dude. I feel like we did. Yeah, at the very beginning, before we, yeah, before we got on the high masa. This is so loose. No, I'm good. Do I gotta do that right here? We just cross the creek out. We're gonna climb back up a massa back. Up to the road. Back to the lot. We'll bring you some final thoughts once we get back. We just finished Captain Ahab, and that was, I don't even know how to describe it, that was unreal. It was like nothing else I've ever done. I really want to see how it compares to Holy Enchilada, which we're doing later this week. There's a lot of debate from what I've heard over which trail is the best. The people who complained about Ahab, about the climbing, the climbing's worth it. The downhill was unreal. It was the most challenging trail I've ever been on. We don't have anything like that where we ride. And... It was fun. I mean, there were some sections where we walked, as you saw, and once again, ride within your limits. No reason to push yourself to where you're going to get hurt and not be able to ride anymore. And that also said, I see where I got the double black rating. For real. What do you think? I think it's a 10 out of 10. It might be my favorite show I've ever ridden. Yeah. 100%. So, do your a favor. Come check it out. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out my Strava for more info, and post in the comments if you want to know anything about the trail. I'll be happy to help you out. See you guys next time.